Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, I thought that it would be fun to show you all my Harry Potter wand collection. Um, I really enjoy collecting things and collecting wands is one of my favourite things to collect. And thanks to Comic Con I've been able to collect them and get some of them signed which is a lot of fun and really cool and neat to me. Um, so let's get started. First I will show you my signed wands. Um, let's start with Jason Isaacs. So I got Lucius Malfoy stuff, so you can't really even see it. But I got this, the staff wand signed, and then the wand inside it signed. So you just pull on this. So, yeah, that's the first wand to my collection. Um, I'm trying to think if he was the first character that I've got the wand signed from, but I don't think so. I think Fred and George were. Um, so yeah, I really like that one and it's really nice and fancy. Um, so then we have James and Oliver Phillips who have signed their wand. So this is Oliver signed wand for George. And then James is signed wand for Fred. Um, I was really nervous when I were, was going to get these wands signed that I wouldn't be able to tell who was who and give the wrong person the wrong wand but I was able to figure it out before handing them the wands and got them signed by the right people and they didn't have to switch or anything which is pretty cool um I also to go along with the Weasleys I've got Ginny Weasley's wand signed by Bonnie Wright I don't know if you can even see her signature my room kind of has really bad lighting and so it's not the best for filming videos but that's okay um, the other one that I have signed is by Ivana Lynch, it's Lena Lovegood's wand. Um, this is Lena's second wand that she has, she has two wands. So, I got the second one signed. Um, I also have another copy of Jenny's wand. This wand I got first, my mom got it for me. And when I was in high school, I took it to school to wear it for like a dress up day. And it got cracked. So that is why I bought a second Jenny Weasley wand to get signed. Because I didn't want to have my cracked wand signed. Plus it has good memories because my mom had gotten it for me. Um, and then I also have, now I have Luna's first wand. Um, so if Ivana ever comes back to a Comic Con or Fanex, I can get it signed. But I really like it. I like the acorn design on it. Um, and then I have... Neville's wand, which is really nice. And then Ron's wand, pretty simple. Harry's wand. Hermione's wand. I always thought that it was pretty. Um, I also have the Elder wand. I know you can get the Elder Wand or Dumbledore's Wand, which they're the same wand, it's just, I think, Dumbledore's Wand is a slightly different colour, but I got the Elder Wand because it was cheaper. And um, my mom had gotten this for me for like an Easter present one year, which is pretty cool. Um, I also have Molly Weasley's Wand. One of my goals is in life is to be Molly Weasley when I grow up. Um, I also want to collect all of the Weasley's ones, so I've got most of them, which is pretty cool. Um, and then I have Percival Graves' wand from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. My uncle got this wand for me for Christmas this last year. He decided to get the bad guy in hopes that nobody else would get it for me. Yeah, it worked out. <laughs> Um, I also have this wand, which is my own wand. This is an interactive wand for when I'm in the Wizarding World, and this is my wand. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Ashwood wand. It's my Potty Boy wand that I had when I took the quiz, and so when they had it at Potty or at the Wizarding World, I thought it thought it was really cool, and so I got it. It's really pretty. It has kind of a similar leaf design as Fleur's wand, so I like it a lot. Um, I also have this remote control interactive wand. The batteries died in it, so I'm not exactly sure how to replace it or get it to work. But maybe one day I will get it to work and it will be my remote for my very own TV. I kind of trained it to work on the TV here, um, but now it's dead, so I can't really use it anymore. 
but it's still really nice. Um, I also have gotten this wand from Alavans online. Uh, it's a vine carved wand, so it's pretty similar to Hermione's wand. Um, but I have gotten this before I got any of the Noble Collection wands. Alavans is a pretty cool website. It's a lot lighter weight, and it's made with real wood, which is pretty cool. Um, before I got that wand, one of my first wands that I had bought when I first started getting really into Harry Potter at the age of 14 was this wand where you just like added your own stuff to this part and yeah it came with a wand makers book so I have this and I really like it so yeah <laughs> and then this wand um, is a homemade wand to um, a friend of mine she saw it at like a fair and bought it for me just as a gift just because so that was pretty cool. Um, I also have these two homemade ones. A family friend of mine, she made this for me, which is cute. And then one day I was bored, so I just made this one. I think it's made out of like plastic, and I painted it. So that was like a fun little art project that I did, and I have it. Um, I also have this wand which is huge. This was um, one of the first Harry Potter ones that they made for kids collect like before they started making um, these ones. They made this. Um, it's just like a Harry Potter wand that they came out with when the first movie came out. So I have that too. Um, and I think those are all of my wands. I think so. I might have some more homemade ones somewhere but yeah that's all for now. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!